But um, so grow what you love and, and, and do it in the way you love. There's many techniques. There's so many techniques of growing things. I don't know, a lot of people get caught up on, oh, I want to go biodynamics, I want to go permaculture, I want to go organic, I want to use sprays. I don't care which way you go. Um, personally, as small time um, landowners or, and, and producers, I think organic is actually the best way to go. In some ways, it's, it's hard work. I, I work, as I said, on a large farm where it is, we use what's called an integrated pest management approach, and I'll get to that in a tick. Uh, it's a really smart way of going if you do still want to use sort of sprays, and there are safe sprays and not safe, so, so safe sprays. But, um, so, but I myself choose, I've chosen organics. Um, I find things like permaculture and, and biodynamics have great ideas, but they're all pretty much the same thing. I think it can get a little bit hooked up on the details. Um, you've gone through your, your site analysis, you've, you've figured out where your sun comes, where your wind goes, what kind of um, rainfall you get, and that's where Bureau of Meteorology or BOM is a great way of actually checking this year's rainfall and the last decade's rainfall <laughs> going back quite a way. So you can really start to map out what kind of water requirements you're going to need. The soil thing is, other than water, which is a great resource, it's probably our primary resource, soil is your other primary resource. So look after it. That's all I'll say for that. And that can, it deals with what you're growing, how you're growing it, what you're feeding those things with. Um, using synthetic fertilizers can be great. You get a really instant result out of your plants. But what those those um, fertilizers can do is actually lower your your worm count in your in your ground. So thus your soil starts to suffer. You can get nutrient buildup further down in your block if you've got a, a slope in your water catching water. And if you're getting green algae growing in water after about two or three days of it sitting there, then you're probably over fertilising, or someone upstream is as, as well. Um, things like compost bins and mulches. Now on a large block, in a garden that's great. I have, a, I have a, a single one in the patch, we have three bays, and we produce a hell of a lot of equipment, um, vegetative matter to actually compost, and that's great, it supplies the, the patch itself. But when you're dealing with an acre, that can be a bit of an issue. And um, trying to get that much biomass to compost down and actually have enough space to do that can be a bit of a problem. My, um, my advice would be start high. If you've got slope on your land, lay all those bins and everything at the top. One, because it's heavy and you can just bring it all back down so it's all sloping downhill. Plus nutrient runs down with water. So I wrote, put all my, I suppose, nutrient-rich uh, enterprises at the top side of, um, of, of my block or in, in my garden, at the top side of my garden. It's not much nutrient runoff, but it does actually start from the top rather than putting it at the bottom and having all the nutrient run just straight down into the watercourse or into your neighbour's yard.